Hello and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. Today we're going to talk about another threat to Bitcoin dominance that we don't actually talk about very much. And this is one of the downsides of be, uh, being maintained by decentralized organization and function. So little do most of you guys know, Bitcoin's code does actually need to be maintained. Even though it is uh, by various people, it costs up to $200 million a year. That's right, almost 10,000 Bitcoins a year to keep Bitcoin's code maintained. If you don't maintain it, there's obviously a chance that it gets cracked or it breaks or something else. And the developers obviously need to find resources. So James O'Byrne sounded the alarm. So basically, like, the blockchain might lose some very talented contributors if someone doesn't step up. And obviously, there's new projects on Bitcoin, like, especially with Lightning and stuff, and someone actually needs to pay the bills. That work involves writing and maintaining code for Bitcoin blockchain because you don't want to get it messed up. Tasks completely independent on, dependent on grants and donations. So right now, it's dependent on voluntary grants donations from business and voluntary contributors. But that becomes a problem in the bear market. Now, maintaining such a huge project like Bitcoin is a full-time job, and obviously people need to actually make a living. But this depends on goodwill. And if the market goes down, those donations obviously can dry up. You know, a lot of other organizations, let's say Ripple, Cardano, et cetera, et cetera, they have paid employees because they are organizations that actually make a profit. The Bitcoin uh, Foundation does not actually make a profit. It's kind of a decentralized organization. And the community is sometimes anxious if they can't retain talented developers. Because, you know, a lot of Bitcoin businesses in the bear market have been forced into bankruptcy. And those are the major donors to the Bitcoin code. Regular, like small Bitcoin holders like you and me can't really contribute all that much because we don't really have tons of Bitcoin to contribute. But businesses that make their entire business on Bitcoin and make a lot of profit on Bitcoin may feel differently because they might be like, oh, it's a cost of business. We have to keep this thing going. However, if they go bankrupt, obviously they cannot donate to it. So, you know, people are looking at, you know, like uh, X coin flipping Bitcoin, Y coin flipping Bitcoin. Well, Bitcoin may just flip itself if it does not actually get talented develop or um, maintain talented developers and can afford to maintain code because even Bitcoin developers can't work for free. They still need to eat and they still need to pay bills. So basically there are people that uh, focus on funding Bitcoin development and basically um, he still thinks there's funds, but with something like this, there's always the risk that during a really, really bad bear market where the inflation is really high and people are basically... Uh, struggling to make ends meet, will anyone donate to maintaining Bitcoin's code? Will there be enough businesses remaining to actually remain to maintain business Bitcoin's code? So eventually, you know, like I think Ethereum Foundation has like consensus to kind of maintain it. And like, you know, Ripple has obviously Ripple, uh, Cardano has IOHK. So this is actually one disadvantage that Bitcoin might have. Yes, I think it does make it sort of more decentralized, but at the same time, it leaves it kind of vulnerable to lack of funding if it's completely dependent on goodwill and donations. So let me know what you think, like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.